Hi, um, I want to do a quick tutorial on how to use this plugin. It's so you can create chords. Um, you know, they have a bunch of chords in there, but it's a little setup that you have to do to get it to work in machine. So let me take you through the steps. All right. First you want to do is you want to configure your MIDI. Right now I'm using the keyboard, uh, complete 49. Um, I'm just going to select one port and then I'm going to use machine studio two and put virtual port. I'm going to go out and I'm going to select my controller. Then I'm not going to use built-in synth. I'm going to use machine virtual two output. Uh, that gives me the, so I can do that. There's nothing coming through. Uh, you also have to use the trigger. Uh, these MIDI triggers are so you can send the input notes. Uh, the MIDI trigger note means it rec uh, all the keys on your keyboard would play. Black and white keys will play the notes. Uh, the mod means all white keys are... It's basically like the smart mode in your keyboard. Uh, all the white keys will trigger the, the correct notes. So I'm just going to select that one. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to load up an uh, instance of contact 5. And I'm just going to load up Alicia Keys because, eh, you know, that's normal stuff to load up for chords. Um, what you want to do here is you want to go to your inputs. And you want to select virtual, the one that you selected, virtual, input, tone space, this one. Uh, I should have told you, depending on your version of the machine, you can have, you know, all sorts of stuff like I do. But you want to select your version of the machine, virtual input. This is for Mac only. I don't know how to do it on Windows. I don't own a Windows machine. But uh, I'm pretty sure you could do it there too. It's free. This this plugin is free, so you know you have to try it on your own. Um, so what I'm gonna do here is I have everything. I'm gonna set this to this right here. I'm not receiving any messages there, so it's just sending everything to this thing right here. Um, now I'm gonna show you the chords um, that it play um, and use best these these modes right here is all like chords that you want to play you could do a cycle I'm just I'm just hitting one key and it's cycling through um, you have random uh, but you know I use the best and then you can like select different uh, chromatic. Um, I'll leave that like that. Uh, you have different, you have the blues, pentatonic. Have a, a lot of options. Uh, to play around with this, um, do you have voice in? Uh, and it records, you know, you could got octaves, different. Just show you what is doing. This really don't do much, but then you have this key scale that you want to play in. You know that you wanna. Um, let's see, random.
and it really is just I don't know what this does. I never even tried that. I don't know what that is. But um, yeah, you just play scales. Like for instance, if I I got a little uh, drum here, I'm just gonna just play a little, little quick pad. I'm just doing that for the hell of it, so I, don't, I ain't trying to make a hit right here, but. It records. And it does record uh, the notes, so I'm just gonna. And I'm just gonna show you that it does record the notes. Uh, yeah, I just want to show you that it does record the notes inside the machine. It's pretty cool. Um, It's, it's a nice little program and that's it that's all I want to show y'all and hopefully you guys will like it I don't know <laughs>